Welcome to another episode of the marathon. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Lace up and subscribe today. We are in my office, and as you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna do an office tour. Let me just sit down and chat to you for a second. So, I thought I just heard my doorbell, didn't. I initially had my office in the basement, which, a long time ago, I redid that office. I'll link that video down below just for fun. But um, I found last winter really hard because my office was in the laundry room, so there was no windows, it was in the basement, it was cold, and I really wanted some natural light. So for about the last probably six months, I'd been thinking about putting my office in this room this used to be the spare bedroom, so I just flipped them with the help of my family who <laughs> was here. We did that in July, and it has made a world of difference. Is there something on my face? Oh, it's just a freckle. Okay. And so now the spare room is in the basement, which is really nice. Let me know if you want me to do a tour of that too. It's pretty much done. There's actually been a lot of changes to my house in the last three months and I was thinking I should roll out some videos to show you the changes that I made and the furniture I built, etc. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I am really happy having my office up here. It's been fantastic. This room looks bigger, it's brighter. The walls used to be this really not great green color, like celery that's wilted kind of <laughs> um and i'd always wanted to paint it but i just never did so my sister and my brother-in-law painted this in one day for me if you've been watching you will have seen that vlog and it is so nice to have it white and light and airy i like having the windows open um and it's just been really great. I think it's gonna be nice in the winter to know when it's raining or know when it's snowing or just see some natural light because this is where I spend the majority of my day. My laptop's not actually in here right now, it's in the kitchen. Rarely I will work not in here, but that's like one of my all-time tips is if you work from home, have an office space and contain your work to that space because when I first started working from home, I'd work in the kitchen and the living room and the TV room and it just kind of spread everywhere and I'd be sitting at the kitchen counter working on emails or project or whatever and I would just like see the dishes. That's one of the hardest things I think about working from home is you see all your like chores but if I'm in this office I don't see them and it's like very professional. And I actually now have a place that's not just like my living room where if I have clients they can come and sit here and we can meet or like my bookkeeper was here a few weeks ago when we sat in here. It's just really nice to have a space that, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to work in the morning and I feel like I'm leaving work in the evening. It's nice to have that real boundary. Anyway, so I wanted to walk you through my office today, show you some things, and I've actually just ordered another piece for my desk, which I'm thrilled about. I'll just show it to you in a daily vlog when it arrives. It's the first time ever I've ordered online from Ikea, but I was watching someone else's office tour and they had it and I've been looking for it forever and couldn't find it, so I just like did it. Anyway, let's get into the tour. This is what you see when you first walk in. This is an overview of the room. We'll just work left to right, I guess. So this mirror I installed with those command Velcro tabbies. Thanks everyone for your tip. It's working great. It's nice to have a nice mirror for OOTDs or just to add some like light to bounce off the room. It makes it feel better bigger sorry I haven't put anything up here and I don't think I'm going to I might paint this closet but I haven't yet these are just a ton of lanyards from events that I've hosted over the years um, etc this is from chapters and these knobs I changed out in a recent vlog and these were from winners then over here we have this bookshelf 
my um what do you call it diploma from when I graduated BCIT and then this was a housewarming gift when Jeremy and I got our first apartment for my brother and sister-in-law. It's a map of the New York subway system. This is an award. My dad was put in the Model Airplane Association of Canada's Hall of Fame. And then on this shelf, these are some books. This is the book I just read, which is fantastic. And these are some that I have yet to read. This was from my aunt. Some of my classmates were killed in grade 12, and we all wore these blue ribbons. And um, I've had this since 2001. This <laughs> needs no explanation. A couple of T Swift records. These sunglasses were my dad's. And then just have some of my books. This is an award Farm and I won a few years ago. And then this was, I did um, a commencement speech for a graduating class. They gave me that plaque. And yep, yeah. more books. <laughs> this is from New York, one of my many trips. Then we come over here. If you've seen the Adele vlog, you know that I bought this poster at her concert last year and it just happened to be signed by her. There were just random ones that were signed and I managed to buy one. These are candles from Jody, a marathoner. This is from Vanessa. My printer, scanner, copier. <laughs> and then down here, this I stole when I quit Sun FM. <laughs> Used to be on the door to the studio and I took it. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. This is a journal from Alicia. In this journal, I do um, stuff for, this is where I planned, um, oh my god, I can't even talk, stuff for Redhead Mare. This journal is also for Redhead Mare and for YouTube, and this is what I used when I was doing my TV show. This is a badass button. <laughs> do what you love. You create your reality. Feed fear a suck it sandwich. <laughs> Uh, a candle that I was given and then in here I have cards. I love to have blank cards on hand at all times and then this is just like wires. This is my tripod I use with my phone like when I'm doing Q&A's. Stickers when I used to journal, I mean sorry, when I used to decorate my agenda. Jeremy's laptop and then this <laughs> is filled with paperwork for Thomas's health. So just take that all in. <laughs> and then just some more office-y stuff. My can one of my cameras is in here. This is my tripod. This is my briefcase. And this is my desk area. Usually my laptop will sit here. I get a lot of comments about my mouse. This was from Staples for like $15. This I will one day tell you the story about, but this is incredibly meaningful to me. I'm just not ready to talk about it yet. <laughs> uh, this is reminding me to do an office tour. Check. This, uh, my Nana crocheted. So it's what I put my drinks on normally. This was a gift from my friend Nancy for Christmas last year and I love it so, so much. Uh, pens, etc. notes. These are coasters that match my tattoo that my sister-in-law and my brother gave me. This is my Himalayan salt lamp. This is just filled with documents, as you can tell. I got this from Ikea and I really like it. It's super handy for stuff that I haven't filed yet. My calendar, this you've seen because I just did this wall vision board to be filled in. All of these frames were from the dollar store and then the prints I found at Winners. Up here, we just have something else. I just printed that off my computer. This is a Redhead Mare bottle, the juice that Pierre used to sell. One of my all-time favorite movies, My Fair Lady. And then just some random bits, which you've seen. Amber Lee, cover of a magazine. And some more little decor bits. This you've seen because I just did this recently. These are from Etsy and these are also from Etsy, the prints and the frames, are, black frames are from Walmart. And then my bulletin board with to-dos and reminders, Thomas's school schedule, 
And this chair I bought from Ikea in July, came home and built it, and I love it because it's like, technically Thomas and I could fit on it. Two people could, like two adults could too. This is a stuffed German Shepherd that my dad gave me when I was little. This pillow is from my friend Deb. My friend Shan made this pillow. This is the quintessential Hudson's Bay blanket, which I love. This little throw Thomas is obsessed with. <laughs> He'll often sit here while I'm working. This was from Ikea. And then this is my uh, filing cabinet, which I had painted and had my little motto put on. And then these are my Nana and Granddad. This is one of Kara Allwell Label's books. Some receipts that I have to deal with. And then, oh yeah, I got a question about how I stay organized. Like, I use my filing cabinet. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, just every little thing possible, every anything possible I put in there. This desk is also from Ikea. These... I got from Superstore. One is for recycling, one is for garbage. This box was a gift and I often put my camera on top of it when I vlog in here. And then really not much to show you in here. It's just like office-y stuff, like just notebooks on things and old newspaper clippings when I've been in the paper and old journal and etc. So that is an overview of my office. Really, really happy with it. I could elaborate on how I stay organized, but I think to be frank, it's just like having a system. So my filing system is very important to me. As you saw the three tiered wire shelf that I have on my desk is nice to keep things in as well. I'm so scared they're gonna fall. <laughs> and really containing it to a room or a space. Like if you're like me and initially I didn't have this room and I just had my office in the basement, I really encourage you to just keep it all in one area. Try and keep on top of things. Again, I am not the best example of this. I have to go through <laughs> an embarrassing number of months of documents to give to my bookkeeper because I'm behind right now, but you know, things happen. <laughs> so I'm trying to think what else. I have um, a calendar on my phone, but I also have an agenda that I use, like a paper one, which is in here, I think, actually. Yeah. So this, there's just something about having an actual agenda that I like. So this is, I don't even know what brand this is. It's weird that it doesn't say anywhere. This is my agenda. I got it from Michael's a couple months ago. And I like to be able to like see my week as well. That's really important to me. I don't know why I can't explain it, but I can get very overwhelmed with work and I'm not complaining. Busy is a blessing. <laughs> and so, but for me, it really helps to have it written out. So it's on my phone. When I'm out, I can, if people want to book appointments or if something happens with Thomas and I need to book something, I can see my schedule. But every Sunday, I usually will fill out the fresh week like this and then I can just visualize it. That, that really helps me. So I think those are really all of my organizational tips. I like to keep a tidy space. I like to um, have a really creative space. Like I really like the decor. It was interesting to have such a blank slate, literally a plain white room and not know what I wanted to do with it, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So that's it for this video. Lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about us. Join the Facebook community. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.